this particular vlog is a little bit different. Um, it's not just about me telling you guys some ideas, but I also would like to learn more about what you think. As long as it's not going to kill you, it's going to make you what? Stronger. Well, briefly, I want to talk about um, how to uh, diversify your, your board, especially uh, gen gender base. You know, how, how you bring a balance and what value does it bring? Because it's not just to be uh, to diversify or to, to bring some balance just for the sake of it. There is value to it, uh, and I truly believe that. Anyway, board, board, board. I've been talking about board uh, not that much, but um, it's necessary. Um, I have a, a, a different aspect of board. I mean, I, I think board should come a little bit later when you're a little bit more established. Um, but also, it's very good for investor. They like to see a company that has a board. Um, it brings a little bit of safety net on their side. You know, it's, you're not just the only person as a CEO or owner of the company making decision, but you have actually a board of director that can guide you, they have the experience. It shows that you're more, you know, you, you're serious to bring more people than, than just yourself. Uh, so th there, there is value to it. But uh, what I want to talk about is uh, uh, how to diversify your board and, and, and bringing gender balance. A-Red, for those who don't know, we, we're a technology company, but part of our, part of our um, focus is um, doing social good. So we focus mostly on women and people with disability uh, on the kiosk side of our business. Recruiting women in the technology space has been very, very extremely challenging. You know, in Uganda, I remember we had, uh, we had a target for our field operator, for example, a top management position to focus and look for uh, women that are qualified, uh, you know, because it, for, for two reasons. First of all, like I said, it brings value to have a, a gender balance in your team because it, it brings a different perspective of things. And plus, we're trying to empower mostly women and people with disability. You know, 90% of our micro franchisee are, are women, 90%. And yet 100% of our team are men. Uh, but one of the biggest challenge has been to uh, diversify our board on the gender base. That's been even more challenging. Uh, what I've seen is, you know, women um, think differently than men, you know, and they bring different value and different approach of things, especially when you're trying to have an impact, you're trying to incorporate women in your impact space, you have to have a balance. You just have to. They, they, they bring value, different approach of things, different strategy, just different thinking. And that's what we're looking for. But where do you find, you know, those, those key women that can be part of a board in Africa? Because that's specifically for Africa. And uh, I'm not going to sit here and tell you I have the solution because we don't. I'm still pushing for that. But... For, for, for those who are getting started or for those who are also uh, thinking about, you know, diversifying your board and, and be more gender balanced, I highly recommend networking. Networking is the number one key. Now, like any board, you have to um, focus on um, the value and most of all, bring someone that are interested in the space you're in, has experience or has knowledge in the space you're in. It's just about, it's not about diversifying for the sake of, you know, to, to diversify. That, that's, that's useless and a waste of time and money. There's only one company I found, and I, I would love to get more feedback from you guys, but there's only one company I found that help uh, companies to uh, find uh, board members that are women, they have a lot of experience in different space, but they don't cater to SMEs. They're very expensive. Uh, they're usually uh, more focused on corporate and big companies, but nobody's focusing on SMEs, and that's a problem all across. So you're basically on your own. You know, you, you basically have to find um, and do your own research, you know? And as I said, you know, st start with your network. Start with people you know asking uh, people that, you know, if they know people in that space, 
um, that women that are in that space and then if they would be interested to be on the board. Now for SME, the structure on the board, um, you can't pay them if you don't have money. So what you got to do is incentivize by, by equity um, and offering them shares of your company and, and incentivize them on a vision. On, 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 on the opportunity in the long run. And not everybody is also uh, willing to do that. My main question is for you guys, for you guys that may have more experience in that space, uh, if you have more idea, please share, man, because we, we need to solve that problem. Uh, no, this is a perfect opportunity because there are, I know quite a few companies that are looking um, for women on their board and they have a huge challenge, man. They, they have a huge challenge. And I'm, I'm still not sure what that challenge comes from, to be honest with you. Um, I, I don't think it's a lack of skill sets. There's, there's a lot of uh, women that have the, the right skill sets uh, now, but it, I think it's, it's a lack of information. There has to be a, a platform out there that allows the, the, the information to flow where companies are looking for, for that kind of skill sets and, and women-based uh, 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 boards and you know more women that may be interested in that uh, aspect. Uh, but I'm gonna end with this, man. If you're running a company and you're an SME, man, you gotta have a, a more balanced gen gender base, not just team, but board. What's up, everybody? First of all, thank you for watching all the videos. I'm working on a project right now that I'm really, really passionate about. It's called the 50K Challenge and that's 50,000 copies we need to sell at the book. Out of every 20 sales, I'll be giving one book to a young entrepreneur or young students. And out of every 500 sales, I'll do a one week mentorship to a young entrepreneur. I truly believe with your support, I can achieve that goal, guys. So share the books. If you haven't got it, get it. If you don't like to read, buy it for somebody else. And please share it also on social media. Thank you. Yeah.